I needed to flush my water heater and change out my anode rod, but I didn't have a valve. So I'm going to throw one in there. First, you're going to cut your pipe. I would strongly recommend using a wheel cutter. My favorite one's made by Lennox. You just pop it on, give it a couple turns, and it cuts it real clean. I also have an adjustable one, such as this rigid, that works really well too. What you don't want to do on used PVC or CPVC pipe is use some sort of pressure cutter or else this will happen. If you're desperate, you could use a power tool with a fine tooth blade, but it's messy. Just get yourself a wheel cutter. I'm going to cut out this coupling right here and replace it with a valve. If you use a saw, it's going to leave a lip on the outside and on the inside. On the inside, it'll create a little bit of turbulence as the water goes through, and on the outside, it'll act like a snow plow and actually push the glue out of your fitting. To chamfer the side of your pipe, you could use sandpaper, a file, or some sort of tool, like my favorite one right here. When it comes to priming, just remember that it stains almost everything it comes in contact with, so daub as much off as you can on the can. On half inch fittings, the pipe only goes into the fitting one half of an inch, so you don't need to get too carried away when you apply your primer and cement. If you recall from my priming and gluing video, this actually softens the pipe, not cleans it, which is a common misconception. If you want to learn everything about cutting PVC or CPVC, I've got a two minute video on that, and I have a short two minute video on how to prime and glue PVC the right way. So you can watch those if you need a little bit more confidence. Do one pipe and one fitting at a time if you can, but I did two pipes and two fittings because I want to be able to turn that valve a quarter turn to spread the glue within the fitting. You'll want to make sure to take off the excess glue that's inside the pipe. I couldn't see it with my angle making this video. Now put the pipe in the fitting and you're always going to want to turn the pipe in the fitting at least a quarter turn. This spreads the glue out evenly and creates a great chemical bond. Hydraulic pressure will want to separate the pipe from the fitting, so you want to make sure to hold it together for at least 30 seconds. Let it cure properly before you turn your water back on. So what I'm doing here is flushing an empty hot water heater so that it flushes out the sediments that are on the bottom of the tank, which is good maintenance. What's even more important is to change out your anode rod, which prevents your tank from rusting out completely. Click on the top right corner to watch that and subscribe for more videos like this one.